guys, what's up? John from FlyOutMyCalpha.com and today we're going to be going over airplane parts and pieces, what everything's called on the airplane and what purpose exactly it serves. So if you're brand new to aviation, or even if you're a private pilot most of the way through training trying to prep for a check ride, and you want to know what all those antennas are, what they're called, what purpose they serve, and what they do, then go ahead and follow along with us. We'll cover everything on the inside and outside of the airplane, everything you need to know to prep for your training and get you through a check ride. So here we have our strut. That strut is kind of like a shock absorber for when we're landing. We have our caliper for our brake. We have our disc or rotor, brake disc, brake rotor there. And of course our tire and our wheel assembly is this metal part, the rim we call our wheel. We have a fuel sump. So that guy right there is our fuel sump. We have a fuel vent, we have a jacking point, our tie-down ring, fuel cap, our spinner, propeller, Nose gear tire, so that's our tire, our nose gear wheel, nose gear strut, that whole shock absorber assembly there. Main wheel strut, caliper, disc or rotor for our brake, our fuel sump. This is our fuel sump up here for our gas glader. We have another fuel vent on this wing. We have another tie down point. And over here on this particular wing, we have our pitot vane, and that's what we use to tell our airspeed. So we have our little inlet hole there. We have our drain hole on the bottom. And we have actually our static port right on the back side there. That tiny, tiny little pinhole right there is our static port that feeds our altimeter. VSI and also our pitot, our airspeed. We have a stall or angle of attack sensor here. We have our aileron, our flap. Our stabilator, and this tab moving here, we can see that it moves the same direction we move, so when we pull back on the controls, that tab moves up, which actually wants to push this back down, so we call that an anti-servo tab. It's a trim tab, as well as an anti-servo tab to fight against us when we move the controls to help recenter them to make the airplane more stable. Of course, we have our rudder here. Our beacon at the top, our white nav light on the tail of the airplane. This V-shaped antenna is our VOR antenna. On the top of the airplane, these white antennas are comm antennas. The black one is an ELT antenna or emergency locator antenna. The dome-shaped one there in the middle is a GPS antenna, and then of course we have another comm antenna up front. So a lot of comm radios on this airplane. On the belly here, we have a strobe light on the back there that's a little covered up in carbon buildup. We have this uh, whip antenna kind of going back there, and that is actually for our uh, ADF that we no longer have installed on the airplane. The shark fin antenna there in the front is our transponder antenna. Typically almost always look like a little shark fin on the belly. This little inlet here is actually to bring cool air in to help cool our radios. And then of course this little door here is to bring cool air in to cool us. 
Now let's go ahead and take a look at what all the same parts and pieces look like on a Cessna 172 high wing aircraft. So here we have our strobe light and our nav light. We have our aileron that controls our bank. In board here we have our flap. We have a fuel vent here. We always want to check that and make sure it's not obstructed with any mud dauber's nest or anything and that's totally normal to see that thing dripping fuel if you fill the tanks full on a hot day where it's spilling some fuel overboard. We have our PO tube, the inlet, and we have the drain hole on here. We have our stall um, or angle of attack sensor up here. If we uh, put our mouth on that and suck on that, you'll actually hear a little squealing from inside the cockpit. That's basically what trips your stall horn as you have the low pressure from the top of the wing move forward as you increase the angle of attack. The low pressure moves forward, pulls air through there, and causes a little horn to make a sound inside the cockpit to let you know you're approaching the critical angle of attack. Of course, we have our landing and taxi lights up there. Here we have our static port that feeds our VSI altimeter and also our pitot, um, our airspeed. We have our cowling, propeller, spinner. We have the ring gear that the starter engages with and our starter is right inside there. We have our alternator belt and alternator down in there. Our exhaust pipe, our air filter and intake for our carburetor. We have our nose strut, nose uh, gear tire. Um, you could call this whole thing the nose gear or nose strut. And we have a shimmy dampener on the side here. And the job of the shimmy dampener is to keep the nose gear from doing the whole shopping cart effect. Every time you go to the grocery store and push a shopping cart and you have that one wheel that vibrates around a lot, airplanes tend to do that if you put too much weight on the nose and you don't hold the weight off the nose when you land. And so that shimmy dampener helps us with that. We have our wing strut some air vents to let some cool air into the cockpit to keep us cool. We have a tie down for our airplane to keep our airplane tied down so it doesn't blow away. Our main gear tire, axle nut, our brake rotor or brake disc, our caliper that will stop us, and this whole assembly we could just call the main landing gear. On the belly here we have our uh, little shark fin antenna, that is our transponder antenna the rectangular shaped one or sometimes they're kind of dome shaped upside down dome shaped those will be for your um, marker beacons and we don't have to talk about those as pri at the private pilot level but the instrument pilot should know what marker beacons are so we look back here that back uh, whip antenna is going to be for the um, ADF which is no longer installed in the airplane and the other shark fin antenna is for uh, basically it's an old transponder antenna so your transponder antennas always look like this and this little guy here is just a little bonus on this airplane. That is an old hole for taking photos um, right through the belly there. At the top we have an ELT antenna. That's a locator antenna, so in case you crash the airplane, your ELT will go through that. We have this little GPS antenna. GPS antennas are always dome shaped. We have another GPS antenna on the top there. We have two comm antennas. Those are the two pointing back for our... We have our VOR antenna, our V-shaped antenna, our rotating beacon up top, and our white uh, nav light on the tail there. Our other VOR antenna and beacon on top there. Our elevator, our horizontal stabilizer, our vertical stabilizer, the empennage and the fuselage that fuses together the wings and the cockpit. Inside here we have a few key terms like yoke. We have a trim wheel and we also have rudder trim on this particular airplane. We have a fuel selector valve. We have rudder pedals down here. We have our PFD or primary flight display, some instruments, an attitude indicator, VSI, altimeter, we have our turn coordinator, our tachometer and airspeed up there, amp meter, oil temp, oil pressure, and fuel gauges. We have a flap selector that will help us lower and raise the flaps, mixture control, throttle control, and carburetor heat. And of course all our switches for our landing lights, taxi lights, beacon, all the electronics on the aircraft avionics switches down here and master switch the master switch is basically you turn that off 
nothing gets power if you turn it on, then you can start supplying power to individual items. We have a primer that will provide fuel directly to the engine to help it start, and of course our ignition switch with off, left, right, and both mags. We have our little ELT control up here. And on the panel, we have an engine analyzer that tells us how our engine's doing. We have a Garmin 650 GPS that we can uh, use for instrument flying as well as VFR flying. We have a second comm radio, and we have a transponder and an autopilot that does not work. And also up here is our audio panel. That's how we select what radio we want to transmit or listen to and all the different things that we could listen to in the airplane or adjust the volume on, squelch, and things like well, that. Well, guys, that's it for this video. If you have any questions at all, just leave them in the comments below. And if you want to see some other videos with other types of aircraft and their parts and pieces explained as well, check out our YouTube channel and go to the Videos tab and check out all those other videos we have to explain the parts and pieces of the aircraft along with countless other topics as well. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up on our video. Keep up all our latest videos that come out every week. Remember, we do get funded by Patreon, so we really appreciate all your support. Be sure to check out our Patreon page. Every little bit you can give helps. And as always, if you can't fly every day, then fly at mycalpha.com. We'll see you all next time.